For a long time now, I have been feeling unhappy with the way that I look every day. Like, not the way that I naturally look physically, but the way that I'm putting myself together. I feel like I hate all of my clothes. Every time I open my closet, I don't feel any inspiration anymore. I've had this really weird desire lately to dress more feminine, and for most of my life, I've really felt most comfortable in kind of like unisex clothing or I guess things that are a bit more tomboyish. Uh, but lately I've been looking at all these things I never thought I would like. Skirts, dresses, high heels. I don't even recognize myself anymore, but uh, I'm kind of into the idea of maybe what I could look like in some of these things. So I have ordered myself an entirely new wardrobe. I can't even remember the last time I went shopping, uh, like on a shopping spree. I just, it's just something I don't ever really do. But uh, I've ordered a ton of shit. I've also ordered a bunch of makeup from Sephora and honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing with makeup anymore. Like if I walked into a Sephora, I wouldn't even know what to look for. So I just picked some things that had like high ratings and looked nice. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try everything on today. So here are some of the things that I ordered from Reformation. Um, actually most of it is from Reformation just because I know their clothes fit me well. And then here is my little box of makeup. So I think I'm going to wait for my hair to dry. Maybe I'll eat some lunch and like listen to an audiobook and then I will come back and try some stuff on. I also want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Audible. They are financing my wardrobe and my makeover. Uh, and for those of you who have never heard of Audible, it is one of my favorite apps. I've worked with them for years and I use it every single day. It is the absolute best source for audiobooks and other original audio content. Right now I am listening to Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. This is like a classic novel that people have been recommending to me for years. I've always wanted to read it, but I guess I never did. So now I'm listening to the audiobook and it is just so good. Like, so amazing. Sometimes I actually prefer listening to audiobooks versus reading because I can do other things while I'm listening. Audible also has a ton of other cool stuff like guided meditations, fitness programs, sleep trackers for better rest. If you guys would like to check Audible out, you can go to audible.com slash itsblitz or you can text itsblitz to 500-500 for one free audiobook of your choice, an exclusive 30-day free trial, and access to the entire Audible Plus catalog. Pretty much all of my friends have Audible and all of my family members as well and I'm on all these text threads where we just like share our favorite audiobooks which I guess means that I'm getting older and also makes me feel really fucking cool <laughs> all right so I'm going to go let my hair dry and kind of like get into my new persona <laughs> I do want to show you guys something really cute first though we are still fostering these kittens I know it was supposed to be only for a week but we've passed that and they're just so cute they love each other.
Hello guys, it is the next day, but I thought instead of like getting ready fully for a night that I was going to stay at home, I would wait until today to film because Nick and I are going out to eat dinner um, with a couple of our friends. So I've put on my favorite outfit from the outfits that I showed you yesterday and I'm going to also show you what I got from Sephora really quickly. I really didn't get too much, just some kind of basic products. I got a couple of brushes for like blush, foundation, I don't even know what else, concealer and powder. And then for makeup I got foundation, powder, concealer, and this eyeliner pencil. I got a blush, I got some shampoo randomly, and then I got a couple of products for my skin and my hair, uh, like Moroccan oil. I used to use this all the time, it smells so good. And then I got a couple of products for like eczema because I've been having some serious skin issues. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera, maybe you can, but I've been having like dermatitis or eczema flare-ups on my eyelids which I have never experienced in my entire life before, though I have always had like various skin issues. I think I just have incredibly sensitive skin and I am 100% positive that this is happening because of a product that I've been using that's like too abrasive, even though I don't think it's something that I'm like directly applying to my eyes. I know it's definitely not Curology because I've been using their stuff for like a couple of years now, but ever since my skin started kind of breaking out like crazy. I added a couple additional products into my morning and night routines, and there is definitely something that is irritating my skin. I think I figured out what it is, and I'm kind of like tapering off and just trying to be really gentle. Uh, but if you guys have ever had this before, please let me know in the comments section uh, what works for this, besides steroids, because I think steroids are something that should almost never be used, personally. So if you have any other options, of things that help, uh, please let me know. Right now I'm just using like Vaseline on them at night. All right, we are in my bathroom and I'm going to, I guess first do, maybe I'll do my hair first. I wanna show you guys how I've been doing my hair um, to make myself feel good because honestly, my skin and my hair are both struggling. I have been losing a ton of hair um, for, for a few different reasons, but I actually feel really optimistic and I'm pretty sure that all of it's going to grow back. I have a couple of inches of regrowth like all over my head at the roots, which is really, really promising. Um, but the rest of my hair is really pretty thin and it's fine to begin with anyways. So I've been trying to style it in a way that feels nice, but also that is gent really gentle on my hair so I don't like, I don't know, ruin the rest of it that's on my head. I'm, I'm very grateful to have like any hair left at this point. Um, if you guys want a video on that situation, maybe I'll make it, but hair loss is very complex. I've been dealing with this now for a long time, but I think it's going to come to an end once and for all. At least that's what I hope. So I have been trying to avoid using a ton of heat on my hair, but because like my regrowth is very curly and the rest of my hair is kind of wavy. I will use this little tiny straightener. I think what we can call the world's smallest straightener. And I will just go through a couple of pieces individually so it has some nice texture. I honestly love this little straightener, I'm not gonna lie. So basically what I will do, I mean you can see all these crazy short pieces all over my hair. I don't know, I'll just kind of go through, and I'll just hold the straightener on there for like a couple of seconds. Okay. And then I'm going to just comb through really gently. I've had this comb since high school. So now, I'm going to open my oil and just do a tiny amount. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Just brings back memories, man. And I'll do that like through the middle part and the ends. Oh, it smells amazing. I can't believe I ever stopped using this. It smells so good. Wow. And finally, I will use just a little hairspray. So I feel like it's looking pretty nice, how I like it to look. It's a tiny bit stiff right now, but this hairspray gets flexible very quickly. And I think I feel pretty good about that. 
I do want to say if you are suffering from hair loss for any reason, whether or not it's going to grow back, you don't have to let it control your life. And I know that is easier said than done. Um, but if you've been dealing with it for a long time or if you have some sort of condition that causes your hair to fall out, like me, alopecia areata, or you know whatever else it is, you can come to terms with it and you just don't have to let it impede on your joy in life. In addition, you can still find ways to style your hair so that you feel comfortable. And even if that includes some sort of a hair piece or a wig or extensions, um, whatever it may be for you. So I just wanted to say that, especially if you're going through hair loss and it's a new thing for you, it definitely does get better. Um, even if your hair doesn't grow back, it just the feeling and the mentality does get better. For makeup, I had originally planned to try out all of my new products, but honestly, with my eyelid situation um, and my skin just being so sensitive right now, I think I wanna keep it extremely simple. I might do a tiny bit of blush and like some lip gloss, which is not what my plan was, but I do not want to make my skin worse for the sake of this video. So I'm gonna do some like heavy duty moisturizer on the eyes and under my eyes, which is also just a problem area. It's really crazy. Um, this feels nice though, it's not burning, that's good. Okay, it is making my contacts a little bit blurry. I feel like I'm rubbing it in my eyes, but it doesn't burn. Put the rest on my neck, I think. Little neck massage. So this is the Bare Minerals Powder Blush in Gen Nude. Nice little kind of neutral color. That looks like too much. Now that I have put on blush, I have decided that I do actually want to cover one pimple. We're gonna try it. Does anyone else just like destroy packaging when they're trying to get into something instead of opening it like a normal person? This is the RMS Beauty Concealer. I like this brand. I think a lot of their products are more green and eco-friendly. Maybe I'll do a little on both sides. The test for makeup is whether or not I break out after. <laughs> and then for my lips, I'm actually going to just do some Vaseline in the rose color. And this is my finished look. I know it really looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow, but that is just my eyelids, unfortunately. I feel like it looks even worse on camera, maybe in this lighting, like they look really red. So that's, that's very cute. But eyelids aside, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I feel actually very comfortable in this top, which is surprising because for so many years, I have been covering up like completely. I know you guys make fun of me for wearing a turtleneck every day of the year, but the reason I honestly do that is because I hate my tattoos and I hate when people see them. Uh, it's nothing personal. I just don't like them. If I could choose to remove them, I would, but I'm also not trying to get laser on my entire body. So for now, I have the tattoos and I am accepting them. And I'm trying to step outside of my comfort zone and wear some clothes that make me feel good and feminine and sexy. And I don't know, am I exuding those qualities to you guys? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this wasn't anticlimactic, but I feel like I look different than I usually do. Maybe I should give you a full shot. So I'm going to go into Nick's bathroom. It's a little bit easier to show you in here. I guess you guys already saw this outfit yesterday, right? Here is the uh, outfit of the day. I'm also feeling these jeans. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing tonight. Hopefully Nick also thinks I look nice. I do think there is something to be said about continuing to put effort into your appearance in a long-term relationship. Um, you know, you don't have to do it every day, but I don't do it too often and I wanna start doing it a lot more, whether it's just putting an outfit on that makes you feel really good or doing your makeup occasionally, um, anything that personally, you know, you resonate with. I'm not encouraging you to uh, 
get dolled up every day for your for your boyfriend i know there will be controversy on this but you guys this is the truth so thank you for being here again let me know what outfits i should keep in the comment section below it would be so helpful let me know what you guys have been doing lately to make yourself feel good or what you feel comfortable wearing or doing to your face your skin whatever it is let me know i would love to hear it and i would love to get the inspiration as i continue my journey towards being a girl <laughs> A real girl. Uh, I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. And I will talk to you then.